Harry Potter fans dusted off their witch and wizard robes last night in London, England, as Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 1 debuted to a sold-out crowd. It seems nearly everyone hit by love potion because of this play. Camilla O'Connell joining us now from London. Camilla, thanks for your time. Let's start with how was the show? Um, it was pretty amazing. It was, I mean, because obviously with the movies and stuff, it's easy to have special effects and things for the magic can look really real but we were me and my sister were blown away by how real the magic seemed now in the play. sorry i understand that this play is kind of a fast forward uh, from the books it's got new uh, generation of characters did it seem seamless to you to go from the books to the play yeah i reckon seamless is probably a good way to put it like it um I, I mean, I've been a big fan of Harry Potter since I was you know, really young. Like, I kind of grew up with it. And I felt like it, it did the books justice. It was... What was the general <laughs> vibe of the crowd? It was at the Palace Theatre, I understand. What was the general vibe of the crowd? Yeah, so the Palace Theatre is the, one of the biggest theatres, I think, on the West End. Um, so there's, like, 1,500 people in this theatre. And the vibe, the, the atmosphere was just incredible. I mean, every, you could feel that like everyone was so excited to be there. And and it was amazing, like, everyone watching it for the first time and just being so excited by that. Um, it was also kind of interesting because the crowd, like, and the audience was really international. Like, people had traveled from all over. I think me and my sister were some of the only Londoners actually in the audience. And so it felt like kind of unbridged. I mean, the Brit British people are like naturally more reserved than I think you guys across the Atlantic. And but it felt a lot more kind of um, yeah, just not British. Like people were when big characters came on, everyone would applaud and cheer. When like um, effects put, were pulled off, everyone would sort of woof and stuff. It just it was took a bit of getting used to, but it was it was really cool. Like, everyone was really together in the audience. It was cool. Well, it sounds like a wonderful experience. Camilla O'Connell from London, England, thanks for sharing it with us. Thank you.